Oh, remember, we're going to use, get the, the mic stand. What? The mic. What mic? Remember, you're using a separate mic. Maybe. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that one. Is there plugged in? Is it plugged in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I got that going. Let me stop it. Okay. Are we live right now? We are. We are live. Hey guys. What are we on? What do you mean? What are we on? Why is that? Yeah, this is. I need to mute this camera. No. One second. We have to change it to. Right here. Boom. Boom. Well, what, look, look at me. That's all we care about is me. In the shot. <laughs> That's all we care about. Yeah, man. Let me line this up. No, it's already lined up perfectly. Uh, then why can I see you? Look at it. Don't move it. Look at it. It's lined up perfectly. So this is just zoomed in. We need to zoom out somehow. Let me test this already. How did it get? Man, we are just. Why? Look, look, look how it's like. It's not showing this side of it. Oh, there we okay. Go. So it's definitely zoomed in like crazy. How do you zoom out like crazy? I don't know, man. You know how things are these days. All right, that works. Let's keep dragging this out. What do you got? Center it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're going to be able to do this, guys. So we're live on... There we are. With two viewers. Okay, cool. So we're... Live on Facebook, Twitch. That's it. That's it. YouTube didn't work. Oh well, next time. Yeah. They, so they YouTube, have, they have their, they have their re requirements. Re yeah, requirements of yeah. twenty-four hour grace period before you can do live streaming. Well, and we didn't request this until late last night. That's um, fine though. That's well, fine. life goes on. Hey, look, how oh, howdy guys. Um, Facebook. Let me make sure. Let me get uh, Rachel on board. Uh, reply. Uh, go to Facebook. Uh, YouTube's not working. Okay. Show. All right, cool. Let me. We're just gonna promote this out uh, across real quick. Um. Know if it sounds good. Ask uh, um, Rachel. Can, can, the you, sound can you see on. the screen? Oh, we gotta record. Look at that. It turned off? It turned off. We're not recording. So you can't record at the same time. It's not off. It's still going. It, it turned back on, but it's still going. It was going the whole time. Just wanna make sure. No, no, whatever. Um, yeah, so we actually have an echo probably because that mic is working really well. So let me turn off the audio to that one. That one. All right. This should be fine. Let me go check it. I don't know where it is. I don't know how to find it. Hey. Uh, no, not really. Well, all right. So Facebook, so YouTube's not gonna work. Yes, you can still do Facebook. Can you check the Facebook? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Let me see. Let me see your phone.
All right. So, howdy doody. Uh, we will be turning on. We will be turning on the um, live stream capability. Oh, and I'm sorry, live stream. Jeez, Louise. Sorry, we've been having a lot of technical difficulties uh, trying to get this together. A lot of things uphill battle, uh, but we will we will get this done. Um, so yeah, we are going to. Okay, Rachel, I in my ear, I hear myself, and this is super distracting. Yeah, that's what we're going through. Can you mute the computer? I shared on your timeline. Yes, but you have to mute the audio. That's all. And unfortunately, you won't be able to listen to it, except for with me saying it out loud or whatever, you know? On the phone with you, basically. I appreciate you doing this for us. You're Coming through in the clutch. You're, You're such, an, such an, angel. an angel. Dude, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm blessed. So blessed. All right, perfect. So, uh, welcome to the live stream. We are at the Hartwood House, which is a plantation house that was mm -hmm. built in the 1800s. Between, yeah, 1800 to 1825. Okay. And so they had supposedly up to 125 slaves on this property. Um, we went around and uh, checked out the, the plantation. There is, it's four stories, and the basement has a tunnel that goes from the basement Oh, and she hung up on me, or what? No, it's disconnected. I yeah, the basement has a tunnel Thank that you. um, it goes off and to the right, and it's we don't know how far that tunnel goes down. But uh, when we uh, were when I was flying my drone, we found a covered bridge that where there used to be a structure behind this stream, this river, where we believe the slave quarters used to be. So. Um, they actually took the time to completely backfill in this tunnel with not just dirt, but brick and mortar. So they did not want people getting in this tunnel. Uh, it was used to transport slaves from the slave quarters to the uh, basement with the underground where the basement kitchen was. And yeah. which that also the basement kitchen was covered as well, as we saw. What, um, I was, what I was picking up psychically, sorry, coming off the screen. What I was picking up psychically was that the reason the tunnel, because why would they have a tunnel? It's like the only plantation in the what? Yeah, according to area. the story, and none of the plantations had a tunnel, but we confirmed this one did. Yeah, we, I mean, we looked, and I got, I climbed in, and I got dirt on my shirt from it. So, long story short, there's a, there is a tunnel downstairs, and, uh, and we have it on camera. I'll be able to release that later, but, uh, it's interesting. And I, what's the purpose? What, what do you think could possibly be the purpose of having a tunnel from the slave quarters to the main house basement? Like, that doesn't make sense. Let me see if the, I'm curious. I want to see if the door has a lock on it, you know, to the basement. Just curious. It did. It had a, it had a, it had a hook lock. Hook lock? Yeah. Which door? Which oh, door? that door. I thought you meant the tunnel door. Oh, the tunnel door. The tunnel door had a lock on it, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so we, uh, Jacob went out and to walk through this extremely tall grass. There it goes. The PA keeps doing that because it's not recording. Oh, it's on, I guess. Yeah, because it does that because it does, it's not recording. Oh, it's going to turn on and off. That's fine. That's fine. fine. It, it's just going to blink. Um, so, yeah, you walk through that tall grass and you went in the back where the slave quarters you know, was and you found that there was actually a larger area. That it wasn't just a slave quarters. There was more to it than that. Yeah, I had a, so there's a covered bridge and I took a camera back there uh, during the day over here. And I'm literally tall grass, like not mowed. Like, is there snakes? Are there spiders? What am I walking through, right? So, but uh, I took one for the team for you guys in shorts, went back there. Well, I took one for the team really to, to go work with the slaves and talk to them and try to figure out what they were, you know, what's going on back there. Where were they? So anyway, um, yeah, I walked back there across that bridge and uh, there is an opening that is like a courtyard sort of area where they would have gathered for their meals. And then uh, around it would have been the buildings. Uh, the slave quarters, but uh, interesting to note that there are trees in the way, and there was a tree that was covered when you walked in. Hey, Judy, good to see you. Glad you found it. I'm, I'm really glad you found it. I don't, I don't know how this works. Maybe you'll tell me how it was on that end. Um, but um, um, 
go back to the courtyard and there's a tree line directly to the left. And so I asked Joseph with his drone to fly up over there because I felt like there was a clearing behind those trees and all the way around. And sure enough, there was. Basically what it is, there are trees in the way so that the, the slave quarters would not be seen by the main house. The main people here, what I'm picking up psychically, is that the main people here did not want to see them at all. Um, so, or at least the vast majority of them. Yeah, and John and William both, I mean, from the rumor mills, were both had a reputation, reputation of being kind of a jerk. So I'm not surprised if they're snobby just saying, hey, put them back there. We don't want to see them, you know? Yeah. So if the reputation's true, it kind of matches. And then build a tunnel so they can get in and out of the house and I don't have to see them crossing my yard. Yeah. Like, they're beneath me, literally. So, yeah. It's Different time, right? It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a, it's a really messed up part of history, but um, mom says it's hard to hear. So we need to turn this up. Um, all right, mom, text me in a second. Hi, hon, why are you so nervous? Low voice, low voice. Okay, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix it. Let's try switching it up. All right. Is that any better? Let us know if that audio is any better. Now we're using that mic instead right there. I think we're going to fix you in one second. What up, Brian? For tuning in, brother. We're trying to figure out the audio too. Hold hey, let's know the audio sounds good. Yeah. I know I have a loud voice. So All right, I can talk even, about it. even without a microphone. I but, can probably be heard. Right. But uh, uh, nope. Now it's breaking up. Really? Now it's full set. I can kind of understand you. Uh, okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we just make need to make this more powerful. No, it's that one. It's this one. It's this one. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can. That's just properties. Yeah, there is. We were able to do it. Nothing. Good luck, guys. Love you, Jake. Love you, Mom. All right. So if we talk directly into it, is that better? Audio is choppy. Is that better now? It sounds fine on my phone, though, when I was just listening to it. Yeah. That's better. Better. All right. So we just need to talk directly into this thing, and when we get the spirit box going, we'll jab it straight into it <laughs> you know what okay look it's perfect rachel says all right look that this mic stand this this little yeah not yeah. happening we're just gonna hold on to it like like we rapping like we're old mcs oh yeah. all right cool all, all of them right there <laughs> yeah we just dropped four viewers <laughs> i'm just kidding as far as it sound funky now i go out and come back in all right, cool. All right, so let me get Rachel on the phone so we can. They said the audio is better. We'll leave that alone. Um, all right, cool. So here's what we're going to do. We do. We love you guys. I'm glad you love it. So so what we're going to do, we're going to get close like we like each other. You know, it's a hard sell for Joseph. I love this guy, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, can you see my post, Taco? Yes, I can. So... You guys, it's gonna it's gonna click on and off the camera. That is like, what is that stream from? That's what stream from? Those other words. Brian Books like the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So without further ado, we are going to we're going to do this. Like, so I interacted earlier just to give you a heads up of what we've done already. There is a couple of owners upstairs um in spirit um kind of annoyed and did not like people vi yeah, just, being in here yeah so so there's that energy here there are also slaves here there's one that came by the name of elijah so if you want to ask questions directly to elijah he was talking to earlier yeah, on the spirit yeah. box uh we we also caught so there's a little building you can't see it but behind me to my left see what was that what the, that's, 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 don't worry about that that was temple Okay, so behind me to my left, all right, so I don't know if you can see it. There's a building. Uh, no, it's the building is like literally right past that tree that's on the very edge of the camera. Anyway, there's a little building that's um, two stories and kind of cramped in there, to be honest. But that building was 
from what I was picking up, was uh, used by the person in between the plantation owners and the slaves. So the one that's like handing out justice, kind of, or lack thereof, right? So, so that that guy's here too. He's out there somewhere, but he did come in and, and with a very low voice on the spirit box earlier. No, so, he Mike, came closer in. to mouth. He came in with a terrifying voice. He you came in with a terrifying voice. You gotta get so, right on it. Sorry, so I'm, I'm about to put my lapel in as well to, to, just so I can talk freely. I'll be right back. So we uh, we were doing a spirit box earlier um, in the what is it, the library, right? That was the library, and yeah, I was Jacob did his psychic medium thing, and he found out that. The person in that carriage house, I guess we call it, was. With you, keep it close. Yeah. He uh he was not the nicest person. He was the person that like what what's what's the the, the PC name for that term that would wa- look over the. Oh, maybe someone there knows. Uh, he was a person that would look over the slaves, and he was not a nice person. And on the spirit box, he came through with a very long and deep, hello. Just like that. <laughs> and it was uh, pretty terrifying. Let me get my separate mic. I got, I got two of them right here. Here, I got a splitter and everything. No, I'm doing the wireless ones in that one. Oh, you do have a splitter. That's fine. Okay. Just keep going. Anywho, so tonight the main thing uh, is any of the spirits partial to Juneteenth. It is coming up. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah, the, na- the name Elijah came through. Um, and then we heard footsteps. Any spirits are partial to Juneteenth. Nice. Yeah, let, well, let's ask it for the spirit box, man. Okay. Not there yet. I'm hoping we're fixing the audio right now by putting a splitter on with two uh, lapel mics, and then we'll just have to hold the spirit box directly up to one of our lapels. Thanks for the question, though, Ryan. We will be asking that one for you, brother. And thanks for coming by, man. I really appreciate you coming along. And this thing's crazy loud. You know what I mean? I got turned down. I got turned down. All right, so we'll ask that question. We can actually ask if they know what you Search. Are there any Civil War soldiers here?
What is that? No sound. I know. I know. No sound. Sorry. One second. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Right here. It's not good enough, though. No, not at all. Hey. Uh, uh, yeah, we lost sound because we were, we were trying to change it. Can you hear it really well? Gotcha. Yeah. Can you try it? Your box? Fuck away. What else we play right here? Can you hear that? Like little words? Alright, cool. Let's do this. Increase static, you cannot hear it very well. The static duty is where the spirits talk through, so their voices are gonna be in there. Unfortunately. So the static is going to be there. That noise and background echo. Yeah. There's a lot of noise and background echo. Okay. Sorry, the light turned on upstairs. No, 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 keep that going. This is my audio. Then we can turn off this one. Then we can probably be talking about it. Yeah. Let me know if you can hear me right now. Can you hear me right now? Test, test. Your voices are breaking up. What is going on right now? Break your voice. Test, test, one, two, three. This one? Yeah. I'm just going to have to do the mic yeah. and then call yeah. it a day. Is that better? All right, guys. Let us know if this is better. I mean, I know the levels are high because I'm seeing it in the yellow. Oh, no, Andy. I'm not staying here tonight. Uh, I live 20 minutes away. 
and the basement and the attic and the carriage house and pretty much everything about this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, we're just gonna be close. That's all there is. That's all there is. Yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, no, dude. Like for real, we're not staying here, Andy. Absolutely not. Um, there's no need to do that. There's a tunnel, Andy. Did you know there's a tunnel down there in the basement? Just saying, there's a tunnel. We got pictures of it and video of it. And I climbed it and got dirty doing it. So yeah, it's crazy. Just saying, it's filled in, but I was able to reach all the way in there and see as far as you can get. I've been there several times. I know you have, girl. All right, cool. I have some questions from the uh, thing. No, I would stay there. You guys should stay there. Definitely see a Civil War soldier would be kick ass. I saw one when I was nine or ten. I'm good. Check plus. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some questions, and we'll get these. We'll get the spirit box going. We'll spirit it's box. going to be staticky because that's how spirit boxes work. They use the sweep through different uh, radio waves, and. Uh, the sun is going down. The place is way different at night, is what Andy says. <laughs> As Andy All right, so lost shuttle things. All right, look. So, um, basically, I'm not scared. I think I'd be scared of spiders. Well, you wouldn't have liked walking through that tall grass I walked through earlier today. And my mom's in the stream. Sorry, mom. I walked through tall grass. It was crazy. Uh, so, uh, long story short, the spirit box. All right, let's turn that on. I don't like that one. Uh, no, I'll keep it on, man. This thing has never been this active. Thing. Yeah. All right, well, um, so the spirit box, I'm so sorry. Uh, spirit box is basically going to sweep through radio waves, and how many milliseconds does it stay on one radio wave? 150 milliseconds. 150 milliseconds. So if you hear anything longer than how long, it's paranormal. If you hear words that cross how many different seconds? More than I mean, anything, more than one frequency is pretty good. So you anything, scientifically rule that out, right? So anything like more than like a few milliseconds? Like I, think, I think we can all agree if it's longer than like half a second. If it's longer than half a second. Or a quarter of a second. Or a quarter of a second. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. It's about to get dark. You know, we're about to be here in the house. Andy said it's way different at night. Um, it's been creepy already, Andy. I'm not going to lie to you. So after we're done with this stream, we're going to... Oh, hello. Uh, after we're done with this stream, we will be... Um, I got an idea. I'll just turn it off, and we'll turn it on after we ask a question, and get it and turn it off for you. No, I'll just unplug it or something like that. Just because it's it's not that quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look. Um. All right. All right let's do this. So then, might just turn it on there. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Question, that guy said hello. You heard yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. And that was on seven seven megahertz, which is not an FM frequency in America. So, so it sweeps through like 77 to 107 or something like that, 108. And uh, these these radio frequencies. Oh, oh that's that a voice. That's that's a voice. We're about to get some stuff going. Let's do this. Okay, so um, questions. It's getting a little choppy again, you guys. Dad, it's got to be a network thing. It's got to be a network, network, network. Ask the ghost why that ghost are left is so handsome. I'm on the left. I'm on the left. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so uh, why is the ghost hunter on the left? So, so. they're not going to answer that. They're going to answer that because I'll let them answer one. So, no, it's the box. Okay, Richard says it's the box that's making it happen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the uh, spirit box is going to make it happen. All right, I'm going to stop talking because this book is coming through this thing. So, uh, go ahead and fire away questions. Well, we have two so far. Two questions? Okay, first so, question. Um, all right, so uh, this one's aimed for the slaves here. Uh, Juneteenth is a holiday designated to, I don't even know what it's really about. Tulsa Massacre. What's the what? Tulsa Massacre. The Tulsa Massacre? Oh, you want these two kids, I'm not. Right. First one I'll start off with. So, Spirits of Heartwood, we know that, we know that the the barn is a Confederate hospital. Are there still any Confederate soldiers here? Did any did any Confederate soldiers die here? Okay. Um, I'm 
the Confederate Union and how oh, it ended. Rebecca, who's Rebecca? Is Rebecca, yeah, is Rebecca here? That was Spanish. That was that was a little bit. That sounded like a. It sounded like it was like three fifty. Right. I thought I said una noche. It was like one night. Oh, that's good. 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 All right, so Juneteenth is a holiday celebrated on 19th June to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the United yeah. States. So, so, um, this is for the slaves here. One second, guys. All right, a holiday, Juneteenth is a holiday celebrated, I'm going to get this, real quick. Juneteenth is a holiday celebrated on 19th June to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the United States. That holiday was first celebrated in Texas around that date, 1865, and so the war slaves were declared free under the terms of the 1862 Emancipation and Proclamation. Are, is there anyone here that is happy to, to uh, what was the question from uh, Ryan again? Uh, anyone? Are any slaves here that are happy to know that Juneteenth is a holiday? Elijah, are you still here? What? Is there anyone here from the year 1850? You just scared a little bit. I'm just scared you away. You're like scared away for getting pushed and get to the mic and you're like, you're all vaccinated by the way. Yeah. 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 John Irving or William Irving, can you come through again? Did I? Oh, that means. Yeah, Sharon, I, we'd love to talk to people who know what's going on. Just send us a message on here. We'd be happy to have a chat. Are there any soldiers from the Virginia 9th Cavalry still present on the grounds? Like I said, terrible. Like Charles, like Charles Barkley. Terrible. What do you want to say? The whole world is listening to you. What do you want to say? We're here. We're here. Yeah. We're, we're here. here. He said, hey, that was a country flying. We're here. Yeah, we're here. That was some country. Okay. Country pumpkin. We're here. Terrible. Hey, right, brother. <laughs> another country guy here as well. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> we want you to know, Jake and I want you to know that we love you. And that... Your voice is heard. If you come to this device, use this device, and you can talk to us. You see how you see how quiet this one has become now. The um, this obelisk. Uh, to the mic and. Oh, okay. You have to have it just like this, dude. Elijah the Spirit, are you still here?
the hell was that? What? What'd you do? I ain't doing it. Hold on. I have this in this here. House. No, I'll take over. Right? House. Are there any other owners of this house here? You don't pay for the Open now? Yeah. Who opened the basement door? I, I did. did! I did! I did! did you hear that? Damn! No, you guys are me! Yeah. Hold on, time out. I'm gonna grab this Look, camera. Look right here. Look right here. That shit was closed. Remember when we asked you about it? We need to go back down there. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Hold guys. This is... Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry. There's, there's some there's some there's some stuff going on right now. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, is the maid here? Dude, I told you I heard a noise over there. I want you to check it out. The basement door is open. <laughs> uh, who who's coming out of the basement? What's your name? This thing literally opened the basement door. Alright, um, and Ben said I did. And what? What you wanna do about it? <laughs> 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 Alright, look, this only gonna get more wild as this goes on. That camera is literally plugged into um the the cam everything's plugged in where we can do this. Hey. For a while. So we're gonna go into the I'm getting a Mary said hi. Mary, are you here? Um, Andy, uh, before before I left to go get the HDMI cable, uh, I verified that the basement door was all the way closed, and then you asked if it was locked. All right, if it was lockable, yeah. and it was closed then. Yeah, it was closed. And then I heard a noise to my right. Put your check on it. The basement door is now open. We have to open the door. Yeah. I, I want you to check to see what that noise was. The basement door was open. We actually did it. I did. So, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, guys. Alright, cool. So, we've already had some door open. We've heard reports of that, so it's cool to see that and then say, who did that? I did. You know? I'm not sure I'm waiting on No, 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 and I have two ways to keep in the talk, so if you guys have questions, go ahead and ask me. Yo, did that just say let's fight? I don't know. It's never going to be a little bit from the fear box. I don't think I'm going to lose. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take one way from it. Yeah, the bar was the Morrison bar. Before the house even built. The barn predates. And then what? Move it with me and then we have to move it to it for the down. answer, right? Or no? You can hear the answers anyway? Alright, I turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit? Yeah. Alright. Sorry guys, we're we we're, we're testing it the last minute. Well I mean the live test, you know? Let's do this. Well we still got People talking to us and opening doors and stuff, so it's only gonna get crazier as this place gets darker. I hope not. <laughs> I hope that was the extent, because I can go home now knowing. We're talking to away from the spirit box and then go back to it. Yeah, so. Spirit box going at your voices. What's the thing that lights up? Spirits of Heartwood. Can you tell me your name? Watch you down the basement. Oh, thank you. 
Later. Well, I said I have left. I, I, I have left. Perfect, Joe. Alright, cool. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, that? No. Elijah, can the spirit of Elijah come through? No. Are there any Confederate or Union soldiers here? I thought it was a five. Take a quick jump. Yes. Yes. That, that light up yes. Okay. I was thinking yes too. Two words I look too often when I turn this on. Yeah. Let me see a five. I uh, see a woman from the early 1800s probably 1825 by the name of Abigail. All right, Betsy's uh, my uh, psychic phone friend. Very, very good psychic uh, medium. Um, ask about Abigail. All right. Is, anyone, is there anyone named Abigail here? That was clear, but... Um, all right. That one, no, but... Okay. I don't... What happened to Abigail? What happened to Abigail? What did I say, folks? How did Abigail die? That was over more than one frequency. <laughs> I felt it too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is that you? Did William or John ever marry? Spirit, you felt upstairs. You know if that was William or John? You don't. You don't. You don't. We don't have a picture. I don't have a picture. Of him. I don't know what they look like. I don't have a picture of them now. William or John Irving, can you come through? Use this device and talk to us, or make a noise. If Abby is here, were you single? No. Abby, are you here now? I'm not, I think it might have just been an imprint of someone who was here. What about um what about any slaves? Are there any slaves around us? Any slaves around us? Besides besides Joseph 
besides Joseph and myself, how many people are in this house right now? So, uh, psychically, I'm picking up that there's not more than, it, it's in the double digits, but not, there's like 10 to 15 or something. It's not a lot of people in here right now. Um, there's a sense that people can't come in here, uh, maybe because of uh, restrictions that they still live by with their, um, with their human limits, if that makes sense. Uh, what kind of horses or animals did you have? I don't know why, but like, I keep feeling like John and William Irving. Kissing y'all. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That was up. I mean, you're fine, dude. I, I swore someone just told me a D-bag. That was a long, that was a long response. Whatever that was. What was that? Yeah. That was a long response. This records. We can look back at this later. What kind of carriage did you have? And did you make your own butter? Were the slaves here mistreated? Ooh, there was a very quiet voice. It was like, it was like, fuck. I heard like a, uh, like, like a really quiet, like growl or something. It, it, it sounded like, a, it, it felt, it felt um, aggressive. <laughs> so, I don't think that was the slaves. I was coming through that. That felt aggressive. I I ain't like the feeling of that one. Property. That was. Yeah. Also, spirits of Hartwood, you can use this box to, 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 to communicate. To communicate. Your words will show up on this screen. He's just addressing the spirits around so they can come talk to us. In a different device. We don't have a camera on it though, but let's go on. We do plan on, on making this more and more interactive. So, um, I'm here. Huh? I'm here, as I said. I'm here. Who's on? Who is that? Who's here? Now, now let's do a little, let's do a little knowledge here. The spirit can respond, but can a ghost intelligently respond? Yes. Yeah. So I've never, I'm not sure if spirits intelligently respond on devices. I know ghosts do. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening right there? It's, it's just refreshing. It's just oh, refreshing. okay. Okay. All right, cool. That was freaking I'm me out for a second. Somebody, there might have been some spam comment someone deleted, so it's fine. Got you. Makes sense. All right, how many ghosts are here? All right, so the difference between a ghost and a spirit. A spirit has crossed over, dropped their human emotions, and radiate love. A ghost has kept all their anger, sadness, things of that nature. How many ghosts are here? How many people kept all of their their sad feelings? Fifteen. 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 That's what I said, ten to fifteen. All right, how many spirits are here? Did you hear 15? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it clear as day. Yeah, that was 15. All right. Um, so to answer your question, Sharon, there are 15 ghosts. I'm not sure how many spirits. Did you say Rachel? Mm, I don't know. Is that... I think you just said it again. Go ahead. I'll give you time. Say whatever you want to.
I, I thought I heard it said, I'm cold. But I... To answer your question, Sharon, there, that box earlier said frigid. And we were at, it said frigid when we were asking about slaves. This is going to make me nervous. I don't want to ask this question. I'm going to ask it anyway. No, no. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Okay, is anyone trapped in the tunnel? No. <laughs> that sounded like a robot voice. It is not like a robot, no. Alright, so, uh, to answer the question, uh, there are 15 ghosts. Uh, I'm not sure how many spirits, though, because I came in with my own. Joseph has his own, you know, like... It's, it's going to be a lot more. And we appreciate the questions. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I said no. I heard that too, Judy. No. <laughs> Is the person that lives in the carriage house who came through earlier, are you still here? I'm something. I thought I'd say... Just call me a fool. Let us know what that second one said. We thought it said, I'm Glenn, or I'm glad, or something like that. But, um, the person in the spirit house, whatever, what, what was your name? You said hello earlier, but can you tell us your name? Quiet. That was quiet. I couldn't hear it. That's what his name is, Charles. That's my daughter. <laughs> That's cute. What's your name, Charles? What? That was three frequencies. I don't know what that said. Let us know what you guys think that response was. It was three frequencies long. Charles, are you here? And did you treat the slaves badly and poorly? What are you, what are you jumping at? Oh, it's a reflection of the lights. Oh. You freak me out, man. Come on, dude. Mm. Charles, did you harm anybody? Did you say I changed? Are any of the ghosts here good or bad? Are there any good ghosts here? Are there any good ghosts here? Go away. Go away. Go away. Are there any bad ghosts here? Don't be afraid to speak up. Nickel decomposed. I should pay attention to this more. Decompose. Uh, flowers. It said flowers right when that response came through at the exact same time. This 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 thing right here has been inactive for like minutes, minutes. Um, do you have do you have a message to get across? What do you want to say? What do you want to tell your loved ones? What do you want to tell your living family? Scroll down, scroll down. Ghosts of Heartwood, Spirits of Heartwood House. Where do you want to go? What do you guys think? Hey, Judy, I, I'm I'm Yancy 
I'm jumpy. I can't help it. I'm a very jumpy person. Am I picking up on anything else? Um, has anyone been hurt here? Yes. Yes, people have been hurt here, but uh, I think it's more just mistreatment. Um, I don't... I, what the heck was that? All right, I might pick up. I'm gonna I'm tune in. Rob, has anyone been hurt here? Or I'm gonna tune in. I'm gonna I'm tune in. Here, I'm gonna hand this off to you. Has any spirit here, or ghost here, has anyone been hurt here? Okay. Oremus? The hell is that word? I gotta, I gotta Google this. Oh, it said Oremus was. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said, was anyone hurt here? No, I thought that's what you said. What'd you say? Said me. You said me. Is anyone hurt here? It said me. Did y'all hear, hear that? Is anyone hurt here? It said me. Who's me? Who got hurt here? Yeah, it was. And it's gone now. Arenas is a cap to bath. Imitation to pray. Do you have any do you have any unresolved earthly circumstance? No. It sounded like a, like a lady singing. No. This thing auto scroll. Why does it not just go to the bottom? Yeah, no. So there's Yeah, I heard the funky man's voice too. It's like someone said, what's up? So there's a, a, a few spirits around us right now. They're kind of, uh, kind of curious about us. Uh, like, there's that woman voice again. That woman voice again, yeah. They're kind of curious about us. Uh, I'm picking up on the four or five around us right now. It's interesting because it's a mix of shades, you know, people, and the colors. Like, you know, African American and Caucasian, so I don't know kind of chummy right now. At least they're all like, I'm not leaving. Ooh. That's good, folks. I was like, they're basically just coming here vying for attention on this thing. So, um, what can we do for you here? Alright, what can we do for you here? Quiet one. Do you, does anyone here need help? Did anyone die in this house? There was a response to that. That was a remorseful group of people. Yeah. There was like two or three words. I don't know what it said. I sound like he did. But that's... Or somebody did. Does anyone want to be released from here? Said not all. Is that what that said? Not all? It makes sure the spirit box doesn't go to the mic and talk. Oh, sorry. Spirit box away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't hear me because... Does anyone here want to leave it? And then they said, not all. 
But I'll ask again, does anyone, does everyone here want to leave? Help. That's not like help. Ask if any of the ghosts are good or any of the ghosts. I feel like... Oh, no, no, it's, it's all jumpy. Hold on a second, it's going to refresh. That's another yeah, help. Voice again. I said help too. What the heck? Alright, sorry guys. Um trying to get back to the not all. Yeah, exactly. I heard that too, you guys. Um Betsy says, uh, I see a child five years old named Emily. She wants to go. Uh, she'll definitely have a chance. Uh, is there an Emily here or a young child here? <laughs> if you put it right here, you'll be able to see it on camera. So we're putting out some paranormal pups. Uh, so what we're doing, the, if you yeah. touch these, they'll light up. Goes. Uh, are are there multiple people here together in spirit? Are you with others? Yeah. That was a yeah. That was a yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah, Judy, you heard that help, please. Or definitely, there's people here that need help. We'll help them. They know we'll help them, so. Um, they, they know that I said something. I'm sorry. Yes, dear. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel. All right. Sorry. Um, what the heck? I was just saying something. No, I don't want to train thought of, I guess. Um, Whoa. I know. I'm going to have to move them. No. These need to be on camera if you can see them. There's one. Here you go. That one just lit up because I touched it. You see yeah, that? Yeah, see that? Yeah. You see how that lights up? Like, you gotta really mess with this to get it to light up, okay? So if these light up. What? Lower it a little bit? Okay, go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Alright, that's good. Is that better, Rich? Okay. I can see it. Oh my gosh! It's like me, right? No, no, a little girl voice like me. That's not like a little girl. Uh, all right, uh, Emily, do you have a favorite toy? British Chief. What did you ask earlier? Do you, do the ghosts or spirits here of Hartwood? Do you want Joe and I to leave? I do. I do. Maybe. Hmm. How many are in the room with us now? Forty? Did no. you say forty? Maybe. But did you ask something about soldiers? Beginning. Oh. Who is communicating the most? I can't believe they opened up that door on us, man. <laughs> 
And they said, I did. <laughs> Who's in the basement? Are there any malevolent spirits here? Oh. Oh, that's temperature. That's yeah, temperature. What does that mean? What does that mean? Make sure the temperature change. That's it. Alright. Maybe got warmer. That was it. It's probably just warmer here. It's probably just warmer in here? Yeah. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, okay, sure. We'll go with that. Why not? Alright. Well, why do I have to have someone else with them? Let's go play with me. Whew. All right. This They still want you to go down to the basement. Yeah, I can't do it. Well, we're going to do that later because... I must change. What do you do on a daily basis? What does who do on a daily basis? What do you do on a daily basis, go? How did the child spirit, child spirit, if you're here, how did you die? Did, did the little girl drown? Sort of drowning or suffocation uh, with the little girl. I'm just picking up. That's why I asked the question. Did uh, the little girl suffocate or drown? Hello? Hello? With that? Hello? Come closer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming. I got chills, man. That thing's. What does that mean? That means something close to us. That means something close to us? Something physically. He was right on top of it. Did you see? Look at that dude on the All right. Cool. That's level two of proximity. Level two of yeah. is real close, right? So, yeah. So goes, and that's yeah. a hello. Right. Well, hey, Mike. thank you for coming close. We appreciate you being here. And are there any married ghosts here? Can you make all those lights turn on? Last time we used that device, not the light went off. Right. right. We thought it wasn't working. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here. What is your name? <coughs> she says she likes Jacob. I'm glad. I, I like. I like and love all these spirits here. So. As she likes me. You're safe with us. If that's a little girl playing with that device, could you stop and move away from it for a second? It's not her though. Yeah, it's not the little girl playing with that. I didn't think so. Oh, that thing's not even on camera anymore. So let me just show you guys how close you have to be to turn this thing on. You see what I mean? I'm not touching it, but really close. You know what I mean? So, like, literally, you have to get really close to it to touch uh, for it to turn on. So that's pretty incredible. It doesn't just go off by itself. And now it's not anyone here sick or in need of help.
Spirits of the Hardwood House. Can you stop it? Stop it. Well, I'm saying this question anyway. Oh, who is that aggressive voice just now? This is starting to get a little more, a little more uh, threatening. Um, yeah, to say the least. Yeah, that's good. It's getting dark. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go into this night and turn on night vision, so we're good to go. All right. Um, what, what you need, so we can help you. Can you tell us what you need, so we can help you? Do you need freedom? Who is the threatening energy I'm picking up on right now? Is there an Arthur McMillan here? Arthur McMillan, can you say something? Make your presence known. Sounded like a yes, sir. Like a like a private, like yes, sir. Like a young cadet. Yeah. That's you can see a young guy. It sounds like a young guy's voice. <laughs> Is anybody buried on the ground? There are people. Yeah, sure enough. We've noticed a common trend that whenever we go to places that have slaves, that I think it's just plantation people, house. people like, I mean, people like that that have been taken advantage of and just been treated unfairly. Like, in my personal opinion, I, I believe either they, either they get stuck as a ghost or they immediately just cross over because they live a life of captivity of just being treated unfairly. So we don't get a lot of slave responses. Uh, well, we don't get a lot of slave responses in, in the plantation homes themselves. So we're we're located inside the plantation house right now. <coughs> Can't wait for the box from talking to Um so I'm sorry, but um so we haven't picked up on slave energies inside the plantation homes themselves. The grounds would be much better for slave. Um if I walk back there today and we'll be interacting with them. Um over by the the uh, bridge tonight, so that's where we're really gonna tap into the slaves. Over by the what? Huh? The bridge? Yeah, close enough. I mean, where the grass gets tall, we're gonna stop right there. So, um, well, let's take a minute. Yeah, you can just make a spirit snake. Yeah, spirit snake. All right, well, snake. Well, well, I'm gonna go up there myself and bring up the thing and go do that thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Bravo. Are there any British here? Thank you. Thank you for coming by, Sharon. Appreciate all the questions. Hope you enjoyed. 
Did the ghost that said yes, sir, can they come near our life? If there, any spirits, oh, if there are any spirits here, can you make those lights change again? Are there any red coats here? sound like Mark in our group's voice? No, I just, but hold on, put it down. You see the noise you just heard? It just said I'm Mark. It sounded identical to Mark's voice. Mark, you tapping into our spirit box, man? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a break, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'll hold this down. You know I really walked off by yourself? No, I just walked off trying to take a breath, man, because I, I don't get how you're not... What? I don't get how you're not acting. That's, that's funny. <laughs> that was not even funny. If you don't... People don't... Spirits don't come to a million people and say a voice like that. That's something... Hmm. You think it's something else? No, uh, that's not an identical to Mark Anthony. That's not an identical... I just as uh, saying that that voice on the spirit box sounded identical to a member of our team that wasn't able, wasn't able to make it tonight. So he's just uh, a little perturbed by that. You know? Um, he needs to go get some air. It's fine. I'm here by myself with you guys. Let's do this. We're here. We're here by ourselves, you guys. Let's do this. All right. Cable sad legs. Is this someone sad by the legs of these tables? I'm going to give you a couple minutes to talk into that device. Um, I'm going to tune in. Why do people feel scared to be here? I said run. Did you hear that? Why should I run? Are there any malevolent spirits here? Is anyone here being suppressed? <coughs> Joe. See that Joe? Joe's being suppressed. I'm going to have to tune into him and get back, make sure he's okay. I put protection around both of us, so we should be okay, but he's taking the last one. So I don't know where he went off here. You'll kill him. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'm gonna leave this one with this. I'm gonna go check on Joe. It got me a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, good deal, good deal, good deal, good deal. It didn't sound good. It's getting more, it's getting more malicious over here. And uh, that's what Andy was saying. Though. She said it gets, uh, at, at, you know, as it gets, uh, turn on a light on Taco. We're about to go night vision, Judy. So let's do that. Let's yeah. flip it over to night vision. Alright, and then that one has the uh, thing on it, the light on the top. No, not, yet. not yet? Okay, yeah. I That's better, it. right? Sick, you feel sick? Yeah. Here, here, here. Sit down. Do this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of you right now. I need to I need to work on you real quick. I need to work on Joe real quick. I'm gonna have him just actually What? Hold on, let's take a break. Take a break. Take a break for a second. Alright, look. Uh, yeah, Joe's, about... Joe's feeling a little um, No, I'll be I'll be I'll be fine. I'll just drink some water. Yeah, well, you do that. I'm going to take care of you anyway. Table, I'm sad. Yeah, I know. All right, so I'm going to take care of you because it, it, um, it said some things that are a little concerning. So I'm going to take care what? of you. Just, you'll see it on look, the video. Look, right, look, so I get the, the down. Is he, I said, is there anything here being suppressed? I said, Joe. And then I said, you know, something else. And then I said, we'll kill him. Yeah, so, yeah. That's the type of thing I think we're we're that's starting to come out as it as it gets darker. All right, you have protection around you, but I'm just gonna reinforce it and push light through you. Okay, no big deal. You okay? Oh my god, it's okay, big guy. We got this. We got no, this. I see. It's like I don't. What? Like I, I get I get pissed off situations like this. You know, like we're all, I'm out here to help a spirit, help spirits out, and I get there's there's people in this world that had bad lives, but to try and still take that out on people, the living, who are here, who come here out of love, and, you know, what people did here to 125 slaves was wrong, was, was extremely morally wrong. And for him to have the audacity to still be mad, to still have a vendetta and try and still attack the living, I don't get scared. I get pissed off. I want to say some things to you. I mean, I have a strong enough faith in my, you know, my God, my faith is strong. And I'm not challenging you. I'm not daring you to come at me, but it's just, and how dare you, man? Seriously, how dare you? Judy makes a good point if you want to read that. I know that I, I get that, Judy. I appreciate that. I know that there's evil out there. But how dare you? You treated 125 people, if it was somebody around here, you took their life and will away. And then I'm in here and I hear my friend Mark, our friend Mark's voice. I know for a fact, I know the dialect and I know the, the emphasis he puts on certain words and whatnot. And it sounded exactly like Mark Anthony saying, I am Mark. And when I heard that, I just got a blast of like something on me. And I was like, man, I gotta get out of here. And for you to say, we'll kill him. Yeah, well, plenty of people probably have tried in the past. I've been sure. followed home by a black shadow figure after I left trans. Before I this, no, no, no. Yeah, no, not trans, uh, before I left Glendale Tuberculosis Hospital. That was before this. That was before we protected people. Before us. But yeah. I can't believe the audacity of some spirits. How dare you, spirit of Hartwood, or ghost of Hartwood, or evil, malevolent, Thing. whatever you are. <laughs> you know what? I love you. Obviously, you never had love in your life, and you take it out of everybody <laughs> else. Come here, guys. Go get some love. Group hug. I just want the best for you, sir, or ma'am, or ma'am, whatever you identify as. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna um. Joe, one can never change an evil person who is out to do bad and be greedy. Yeah, well. The thing, the thing that worries me about running the spirit talks for so long, it's the same thing like what you did at Edgewood with that blast radius thing. The longer you run a spirit box, and this has been a common thing among the paranormal community, the longer you run it, 
the more and more you're leaving that channel, that conduit open. So more things come more through. things can be going by, seeing this portal, seeing this conduit. And it might not be anyone that was related to Hartwood. If it might be someone that sees it here now and now it's tagging along. Saying you'll kill me? Leave me alone. You have plenty of stuff to do. And dude, Betsy says, yes, that's true. Betsy knows. So, oh, we have to turn on the night vision every time it does that? Are you kidding me? Dude, why is that light on upstairs, man? Oh, shoot. Just hit back. Oh, gosh, it's horrible. Hit back. Oh, God. I'm going to blast you right now. It should be back on now. Just doing some uh, energy work on Joe real quick. Just to make sure everything's hunky-dory, okay? All right, cool. We should be good now. I don't know who's texting me. I can't really me, see. Me, it's me. I just put it in a group chat. Ugh. Okay. All right, cool. You should be feeling better here in a second, man. Yeah, well. You got a three-inch buffer. You want to make it bigger? No, man. I think it says goji berries. No, those are that's what made me feel good when we started. <laughs> All right. Check the back of his neck. Why did you? Because you said that shit at freaking Fleetwood, man. What? Why did she say that? What? Check the back of my neck. No, hold on. Why did she said that, and then you said that at Fleetwood right after that thing was trying to grab me? He's asked me why, why I said that to him a couple investigations ago, Betsy, to check the back of his neck. <laughs> He's freaking out right now. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Betsy's a very, very talented uh, psychic medium, so she's picking up on something. I'm gonna check it right now. You know what I mean? I was just blasting, locking it down, but I'm gonna make sure nothing's there. Thanks, Betsy. If there's something here on my neck, get off now. Because I don't like it. In Jesus' name, at this time, all evil beings in this building must uncloak themselves and on this property must uncloak themselves and remain visible for the entire time we are here. In Jesus' name, amen. And turn that light off upstairs. That's a year, right? But I got it. We're good. Okay. Uh, any animals or pets? What? That could have been a table shake, never mind. Yeah, something's moving in front of us. Something's going. Uh, chills are attacking me heavily now. All right, everybody who's watching, just uh, pray for your own protection. Like, use whatever faith structure you use um, to protect yourselves during this stream, please. Um, I'll, I'll pray as well for everyone to be safe. I, I should have prayed over this 
this stream before it started. Okay, all right, we should be good to go now. And everyone that has joined in should have, uh, you know, angels come and check on them. So we should be good to go. Okay, uh, what's next? You okay? I don't know, man. You need another Red Bull? No, I don't need a Red Bull. <laughs> Dude, this is a crazy place. Um... I can't believe it's gonna happen to me every time. Every single time, over and over again. Good. So yeah, this is a crazy place. Um, it's getting more freaky. Can you ask a little girl what type of games she would like to play? She likes to play. Oh. Hold on. Let's before we start doing that again. Let's make sure. Uh, I'm not liking some of the energy I'm feeling around me. No, I agree. I feel like the energy around here is horrible. Yeah, it's getting a lot worse as it gets darker. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting doing this investigation after we get off of this stream. And, um, if we do. I don't think we need the demonic things here though. Or anything like that, because I don't know if that's what this is. I gotta look a little further. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. I don't want to. It is what it is, right? So energy is not good. Goosebumps. Yeah, it's not good. So things just took a little bit of a turn. Uh, it's okay though. That's what Andy had said though. She said, "Wait, it's a totally different beast at night." So as it gets darker, it's getting more threatening. So, um. That's okay. We anticipated that when we go into that doesn't feel as demonic. Okay, good. I I don't know. It's it's not the fuzzy happy stuff though for sure. Um, and I wasn't feeling demonic uh, uh, early on either. So um, You want you want to take a drive? You want you do what? I'm keep it going, man. It's not demonic. What that's he saying? Just dark, not demonic. Yeah, that's the consensus. I think. That, I have like right here on the left side of my chest, like right here, like uh -huh. I guess my liver or kidney or gallbladder is it? It feels like, like beneath my skin is like maybe a slightly like hot thing or something. That could also maybe be the subway I have. Yeah, it's something. It's something you ate because. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take a take a walk. Yeah, just walk my car. Yeah, so the guy who lived in this house uh, did not like people very much. So that energy is still there. Whew. Totally different feeling here when Joseph's not next to me, I'm not going to lie, right? Um, this isn't even the creepiest part of this house. This is like the most chill part of the house. Um, yeah, so Yeah, 
Yeah, they don't like us being here. He doesn't want us here, for sure, but it's not really up to him, you know? This might be another one of those type of energies that doesn't want to leave on his own. Like, he doesn't want to, but I'm not going to let him stop other people from going either. definitely twisted like this has gotten as it gets darker it gets more foreboding you know um i mean joseph's had to take a, a walk he's not feeling well right now and we're i think i'm just gonna figure out this thing how to turn it back on i don't know how to do that wait till he gets back i just interact psychically how can you help him get through his anger? That's a great question, Jane. It's like, how do we evolve the... Ooh. Did you see that? All right, first off, the light was on over here to this one. This one was on before that thing turned off. Let me go turn the uh, thing back on. That one's on. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's the red one. Okay, just kidding. Whew. All right, just looks lighter. Sorry. <clears throat> so how can we help him through his anger? That's an excellent question, Jane. Um, so put the intent for only positive energy to interact with you. Good, good call, Betsy. But we're still going to have to help this guy um, later. But it doesn't need to be during this stream. So at this time, the intention is placed out there. Thank you, Betsy. Only positive energies and beings that need help and that are, you know, more of the victim energies or positive and are happy to see us here may interact with us and may be inside this this section of the house this whole portion everything i can see only only beings that are positive and are benevolent may interact with us at this time okay so that did that shifted everything thanks betsy we usually um, when we, when we interact with those lower level sort of things, we usually just work through them, help them move away and then, you know, um, help the people suppress beneath them. But this is a little more drawn out here for the live stream, just to kind of get more of a feeling of who we're talking to. Um, but back to address the question, uh, that Jane had asked, how can we help him get through his anger? We can help him get through his anger by just showing him love, um, pure love energy, and you know compassion. And usually, is the best medicine for for those sorts of things. Because maybe they just didn't have love and compassion in their life, and they're bitter, and that's that's kind of what it takes to to do it. So, uh, at this at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and send my love all through the house. And compassion and say, I'm sorry for the time that you spent in this place and the quality of that time. I'm sorry for that. So, uh, I'm feeling a lot more calm now, so that's kind of changed the vibration of the whole thing. So that's good. I appreciate you being here to help guide that along, Judy, uh, and Betsy, and and um, um, definitely appreciate the uh, the input from everybody in the questions for sure. So 
moving forward, who's around us at this time? Okay, we've gotten back to the to the group of people, like five or six. And I'm picking up on the little girl now as well. She's over off here to my right. Um, she looks like she's like five, four. Gratitude, he is letting you visit his house. Yes, we are thankful that you have allowed us to come to your house and to be here. It's a beautiful home and we mean you no harm. We really just came to share this space to see, to check in on you, to make sure you're okay. And just to uh, let you know that we're thinking about you and we love you. I think also um, that the having the spirit box on for so long pulled in some passerbys that weren't necessarily attached to this place. And that when you open that door so wide, and we'll be closing the door for sure before we leave here, but open that door so wide, you don't know who's going to walk through. So, but anyway, um, they're so super sensitive to energies. So, uh, it's going to get old real quick. Let me get that. I'm going to go check on Paul. Rachel, can you dial Joseph, make sure he's okay? Actually, this phone here. Can you dial him, make sure he's okay? Let me go turn this light back on. That was getting really dark. All right, so I'm trying to get this put somewhere that I can just. All right, all right, cool. I'm gonna call Joseph real quick. Make sure he's okay. I'm trying to be here by myself. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, it feels okay though. Energy has shifted. Um, so that's good. Oh, Joseph, he's not answering now. Getting awfully lonely here by myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm glad to have you guys here with me. So if something happens, you all know. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, energy does shift. Barely can see me still. Okay, I gotta turn the other light on now too. Hey man, it's better. The energy's much better in here now. We shifted it. That's what helped me out. It does feel a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So that should. I still feel like. That should have fixed it again. Is that, is that working? Alright, here. Did that light change anything for us or no? Is that just... Can you move that, um, that, that one closer to us? Can you turn it off? Turn it off. Is that light? Just for me to see. Okay, yeah, yeah, turn it back on. Alright, cool. That's better. Yeah, night vision is on. We just didn't have the light on. Are the spirits related to each other? I think it's Native American. I said, dude, my freaking ass went. You want to hear something crazy? Yeah. Go ahead. Why don't you tell the people? So my wife was like, she just posted like, you know, some question. She asked my daughter. She's like, what do you want to ask? Uh, what do you want to ask? She said, ask him who the gravel means. I said, so 
Mr. Dashie, what do you mean? She says you're the brown guy there. Is that native or is that how Korean native is? I don't know. So, all right, we should check on the native thing. Do you want to? Should we do the spirit box again for a little bit? <laughs> it's still too dark. Here. Here, I got, I got it. This is freaking. Can you move this one closer too? Fixing the lighting. That looks better. What do you think? Does that look better? Uh, it looks better. Oh, like yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, cool. So I'm not gonna. Right, so yeah, the energy in here does feel better, but I still feel. And, I, and one thing I can tell is this thing hasn't changed at all. When until the first time I came back, when I was feeling horrible. So. Obviously, things have probably simmered down a bit. Um, Is that the obelisk? That's the obelisk box. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but, the, of course, I still feel drained, you know, and that's probably, they probably just took whatever energy I had from me. But I did, uh, I did go out there and, ooh, ooh. I mean, I talk when I get emotional. So, yeah, I went out there and I just tried to say a quick prayer to my grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, my grandfather. I can't do it. I can't talk. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. Oh my god! Need a flashlight? Yeah, my grandfather was a very. His grandfather was a very very loving man, and uh, so I just asked him. I said, "Hey, Gramps, you know, there might be some people here I don't like. If you can come down and." Watch over me. If anyone gets close to me, rough him up. He was a boxer in the army for World War II. So, sass him. I said, hey, look, if anyone gets close to me, please, you know, rough him up, take care of him. And, uh, yeah. That's, All right. That's my first time asking. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah, we're good now. We're good now. That's good to go. So, like should we ask? Can you turn I, the, uh, huh? this the, thing? The, uh, that's fine. Down. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's, um, I think... You guys want to do another round of spirit box questions? We're a little over 50% on the stream and it's like been crazy. It's been crazy so far. The door open, that light's on. <clears throat> I wish I could take that camera with me and keep streaming and just to walk around with it, but it's not, I'm not able to move it, unfortunately. Not too much. I mean, I can circle around to show you what the room looks like, but, uh, but yeah. I swear, maybe it's just because it's darker. I swear it's brighter upstairs now. So that light's on. I know that light's been on, but I swear I maybe another light turned on or something because I swear it looks brighter from the window outside. But that's what Tim was saying. Tim was saying the light was kept turning on. These lights have been going on and off by themselves. So there's that. So somebody turned the light on, someone opened one of these doors, and that's something that they've right. been... We're going to use the direct link. Why is there an eye in the middle of the stream? What is this? That's from the camera. That's not even night vision. Yeah, that's nothing to do about that. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, Apparently it's, it's just the night vision. That's weird though. Why would it stay on? It stays on, I guess. Whatever. That's my third eye. For anyone who's wondering here, it's so big. It's right exactly where your third it's eye. My would third be, eye. Too. Right. That's how, that's how I see the ghosties. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know we're working out the kinks. There you go. It's life. <laughs> an eye appeared. Why is an eye appeared? Can you maybe turn it off and turn it back on again? See if that goes away. Are you okay? Oh. Me? Yeah. I'm drained. Uh, can you turn it off and turn it back on again maybe? Sure. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> third eye. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, cool. So, that's further ado, 
Well, we're gonna be going away. You're gonna just close it, open back up. Again. I did. Oh. Uh, I'll just try. I can try tilting it towards on your face. And uh. All right. Well, that's the best we're gonna do. It's gonna be our friend. Can you tilt it up, maybe? Oh no, that that's not gonna get rid of these. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I don't know why there's an eye. We'll have to figure it out, guys, uh, for the next one. Um, best of life. All right. So, all right. Let's do another round. You guys have more questions for the? Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if there's a, a, a Native American presence or uh, what's what's going on with that. Um, I know we had a little bit of chatter from Civil War though so far. Um, have we? Oh yeah, yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah, Roger yeah, yeah, yeah. or uh, uh, yes, sir. And... We'll be using the direct link built by Jay Prather. If you guys, anyone out there ever needs a uh, high quality um, ITC spear box, J W Prather, good guy. And yeah, we we see the guy on the screen. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get rid of it, so we'll figure it out later for another stream. I guess this one is gonna keep it rolling, you know. All right, so um, if you guys have questions, let's do that. I know I saw a question earlier. Are any of the spirits here related? Is there anyone here with us right now? Have you used this one before? Like the back I used it on a mantry. To get a bunch of stuff that we got already for someone. Half of it, half of it was from this. Other half was from what we just used. Are there any Native American spirits on this property? Are there any Algonquian speaking people on this on this property? Are there any soldiers here with us? Are there any Native American burial grounds or graves on this property? You can right. keep an eye out for people walking behind us. As I thought I saw something. Who is turning on the lights upstairs? It's too light in here, man. <sighs> this place gets so creepy the darker it gets. Close the basement. Yeah. 
I turned off, oh, oh, the night vision. You go off, man? Yeah. So I turned off the um, the light upstairs, and I closed both these doors over here. So we're at a baseline of completely closed again. So if they pop open, um, just let them do their thing, you know what I mean? They, they're they tough to open, though. So that's not wind. It's not. No, no wind. way. No way. Dark energy cost them to leave. It's okay. We're opening it back up uh, for the wants to come back. But we had a nice, nice little rolling session here earlier. Um, I know uh, if any of you were there for that, so uh, that was pretty exciting. Very successful session too. So uh, we'll get back to it. Uh, while he's, do you need light? No. While he's over there fiddling around, I just want to let the spirits and ghosts and and people here at Hartwood Plantation. Uh, the Hartwood House. Uh, I just want you to know that we come in peace and love, and we are here with, you know, we, we put ourselves at risk each time, or, you know, put ourselves out there to make sure that you guys are, are okay, and that everyone that, uh, you know, doesn't want to be wherever they're at, we, we help them get out of whatever situation if they need help, okay? So, to that end, all we ask from you is for you to come interact with us and to, you know, really prove or, you know, show us what your life has been like both before you died and after you died. Help us tell your story. <laughs> Help us tell your story. Um, so we invite you to come around us at this time. Just on or Betsy, that's cool. Um, uh, we asked you to come around us at this time. And um, just just know we love you and we're we're happy to have you. Oh, you're gonna mess with the sign? Yeah. No, it's not the light. Are you sure? No, what is that? Is it this light? No, 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 it's over here. What is this? What is that? It's probably something on that lens, man. Let me go clean the lens off. It's not a lens thing. We'll push the lens anyway. I mean, at least debunk it. Yeah, but we love you. What the hell is that? You can hear that, dude. Still there. It's not on the lens. It's on the back side. You would you would still see it when you covered it on the lens. Yeah. Oh, on the back side. I think it's on the window. I love that. What? Get in front of it. Riveting. That's still there. Is it? It's on me. Say that. Oh, oh, yeah. What the heck? That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it's some light reflecting from somewhere. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta just be a light reflecting. Let's see. Here, keep looking. Yeah, it's, it's going. going. It's going. Okay, it's probably a light. Yeah, it's a light. Oh, that was cool. 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 Oh, now it's me. Oh, okay, that's cool. Think of me. If it wasn't me, just do that again. Did I say Jacob? Scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, he's behind you guys. There's a woman with a hat. Is there a woman with a hat here? Dude, I can't see a thing. It's so dark in here right now. I can't see this table in front of me. Yes. But yeah? Yeah, let me turn it up. Who is the woman with the hat?
I think he was trying to. I think he was trying to say I don't know. I don't know. I think, but he said I don't. Ooh. It's so dark. <laughs> yeah. It's so dark in here. Uh, uncomfortable. Something are you? I don't know. How are you? I hope it didn't say come on for you. We're doing well. How are you? I just want, oh, oh, is that you? Maybe? Why is it still going now? No, that's, that's how close you have to be for it to oh. go off. So, so what was that? Hey, if, if, what was, the, what was the flash? What? I didn't see it. You didn't see the flash of light? No, I was looking down to the left. The thunder, is it lightning or something? Hey, uh, uh, if that, whoever that was that made that light turn on, can you get close to that? Oh, can you get close to that again? Turn that light on again, please? Mm hmm All right. You said, mm-hmm. Can do it. Please? I just want to let all the spirits around us know that we love you and you're safe with us. Can you feel love in your current state? Yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah. That's what the flash was. What? Close to it. Yeah. Can I speak up? Speak up. He said, can you speak up? Or just because. See a light above you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's from... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it comes and goes. Yeah. Nice. Um, so this device goes off when someone gets close to it. I'm not touching it, but touching it makes it go even crazier. Um, so that is going off with people coming up to it. Can you come up to that? Uh, oh, so I love you. You're safe with us. Come around us, and uh, and we, we would love to hear from you. Do you have anything you want to say to us? Civil War people here? People from the Civil War? Are you stuck on Earth? Or do you... No. no. I said no. Yeah. Where, where, where are you? I think the same, they feel stuck, that's it. I think they may be confused. Uh, have you ever left this plantation before?
William, is that you to my right? You can see. Sorry, William. You can come up. This is your house. Thank you for having us. Do you like having guests? Suppressing them, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll help. We'll help everybody here before we leave here. Who's in control here? I didn't lose the signal. I was like, what? Whoa. Oh, well, I did it again, but It was clear, but we weren't prepared for it, you know? I don't know. 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 Who is suppressing people here? seen an angel before? Who is behind me outside? Hiding. I think it's it was dark. Okay. What were you hiding down there? Underground. Underground. <laughs> yeah, what were you hiding underground? hiding in the tunnel. Dude, I swore it said go on down there. I can't go down there. They 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 sealed up both exits. How do I get down there? How do I get to the tunnel? to dig? Right. 
Is, is the other opening of the tunnel near that bridge? Look, this is how dark it is right now. So, um, it's, yeah, something else from here. All right, uh, where did the tunnel, I, it goes from the basement, where did it go to? I don't know. <laughs> Let me say, I don't know. Are you hearing this? Can't believe I'm not hearing these thumps, man. What thumps? I have to see my ear. Come on. Now I have both ears. I got like this tightness all around me. You're okay, you're okay. So, I don't understand. What were you hiding in the tunnel? Hiding. Hiding, I know. What were you hiding in the tunnel? Everything. everything oh my god everything what is everything what type of things are you doing something illegal here Where? Uh, okay, maybe. All right. Well, at this, on this plantation, were you doing anything illegal here? I don't know. Again, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they really had laws like that yet. Well, they had to, right? What year is it? Who's the president? Yeah, right now, who's the president? You ever heard of Joe Biden? He was probably around half when you were alive. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Northerners? Did you support the did you support the union? How many people died at this location? Talking. Okay, how many people died uh, in the surrounding square mile from here? Very good. I know that. What's the go? How are you going to die? Do you know the info on this? I'm in PC in this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I want to know what happened to the spirit of Eliza we talked to earlier. Are you still here, Eliza? Bro, come on. I gotta mute this. I think I'm gonna say effing evil. Inside. 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 Keep talking. 
I don't know, Judy. I'm not picking up on anything like that. Hopefully, I don't. Yeah, they're not. They're not welcome here. So they're gonna have to stay away. Okay. We're not doing that today. Was Elijah a slave? And if so, was he allowed in the house? What's your name? children here? What games do the children here like to play? You know, we we uh, love we love your house. It's beautiful, and uh, we think we heard about you. We think you guys are great people. Do you want to come talk to us? Are you fine, Southern gentlemen? How old was the oldest person here? Sixty-seven. We're gonna have to play that back. We're gonna play that back. Sixty-seven, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven or sixty-seven? Yeah. Because so sixty-seven would be around the age of death back then. Sixty-seven would be the oldest, probably. Yeah. yeah. Definitely said seven, so that was the number. Is there anything you want to get off your chest? Are you homosexual? Come on. I, I swear I said that though. Are you a man who likes men?
Me too. Hey. Hey, it's totally it's, okay. It's Pride Month, man. So you yeah, know what? It's Pride Month. We support it. Something about people. I don't know what that said. It's Pride. It's Pride Month, and you know it's 2021 this year, and it's it's okay. To, I mean, love is love, and we don't judge you. We think right. that's wonderful. Be who you are. Love you. Love you. So, so who did you love? Is it? Oh, what? That one's turned on and off by itself. Look at that. Look at that. Keep on the table. Keep on the table. You sure? I don't think so. Never mind. All right. Oh, uh, Rachel says I need to get back on the phone with her. She said she doesn't think. What? Says what? Definitely what? I think so. Um. Okay. We'll find out. We're fact checking if they would know what homosexual means. Did you ever have any. Yeah, 1800. Oh. Uh oh. Who's that? Who's that? Arthur? I'm getting chilled. Hi. Hi, Arthur. Do you, uh, what do you like, like to do for fun? I never. What, what would you like to say to everyone? I'm, we're, we have a lot of people there watching you, big audience. What would you like to say? I mean. I mean. Do you know we have people watching you from home, their own homes, they can see you? Thank you. We just want to show people your lovely home. Yeah, we do. Did you do? Yeah. We do. Did you have parties here? Did you fall in love with any of the slaves? Hold on, the stream got bumped. The stream got bumped. Who's Emily? I said something, I didn't catch yeah. it. How was that ambulance that went by? Did you have a carriage? Hey, you win? Hey, you win? Okay. Or are they human? They said, hey, you win, or are they human? That was something I don't know Can you make that light turn on again if you're over here? The light's turned off. I know I turned the light off upstairs. Are you okay with that? Do you like the lights on or off? I don't like them. They didn't look fifty back there. Or 
What's what's the story about Emily? What's the best thing that happened here? going off. Sorry. All right. Do you like it in the summer or winter better? Party. Oh, party. Do you say party? Quest on our TikTok, it's a new thing. Uh, to be asking my best Adobe impression, how? <laughs> what? How? <laughs> 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 Hell no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry, dude, I can't answer that. Dude. I can't answer that. Spirits here like to party. What church did you go to? A couple different. I thought I said you cut me deep. A couple different. Oh, no, yeah, a couple different. Yeah, it did sound like that. Couple different. Were you non denominational? That's not a word back then. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Would you like to cross over into the light? I thought it was going to be soap. That's also not a word that would be used back in the day. I thought that would be soap. I mean, there could, like I said, the longer we're keeping this thing going. There is people that that can see this. But like they need to come over for but the you know album. what though? You know what though? Wider net. Compared to now to what happened earlier, it seems to be a lot more positive people coming through. Because I, I told you that's not took care of it. It could but I'm gonna say it seems to be like more maybe even people that recently died. Yeah. You know, because the energy is coming through. Some of the stuff on here, man, sounds like from modern day twentieth, twenty first century world. What year did you die? That's a fly, but I thought that was an orb coming up on you or something. Yeah, me too. Is there anyone that lived past the 19th century? Did you like listening to music? Okay. 
The energy in here is overwhelmingly positive now. Like, yeah, um, chill. yeah, it's chill. We're gonna keep it like that. So thank you, Betsy, for your help uh, settling that down. Seems like feels like a chill party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got yeah, a party going on. Like, you guys want some cocktails? You know, or some some beverages? What's your favorite thing to drink? Is rum? Is it rum? Yeah, rum. Rum is like one of the oldest drinks. Yeah, but not here. What do you mean? Why would there not be rum here? Oh, no, hold on. Here. Look it up. I'll fact check. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you drink rum? Is that course. <laughs> Did you drink wine? Red wine or white wine? Are you a follower of Christ? If so, what was your favorite book in the Bible? Paul. Paul? Did it say Paul? Maybe. Or all of them, maybe. Oh, I won't. Who's, um, who's talking to us right now? Uh, during the 18th century, yeah. During the 18th century, rum established itself as a force in the colonial economy. All right, all right, that's fine, whatever. All right, all rum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you glad that rum came here? Yeah. What, what was your favorite rum drink? You know, I have to ask this one for Tim. Uh, thank you. Shout out to Tim for Tim's River Shore and Crab House for letting us uh, investigate this this place. I have to ask this one for Tim, though. Um, does anyone know what a killer driller is? Who built this house? I did. I did. I did. Is this John Irving? Is this William Irving? Hey, um, everyone that's at home, any people have just logged in or tuned in, uh, you can type questions into the chat and we will ask them for you to the spirits here at Heartwood, Heartwood Plantation, right here, they just said it. But here at Heartwood Plantation, we're interacting with uh, quite a few Civil War uh, soldiers, it sounds like, uh, and the owners of this place, someone that called it home, uh, has come up. Uh, this lights come on a lot, uh, which you have to literally be really close to you for it to turn on. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, feel free to ask questions if you'd like to. William Irving. William Irving, did you build this house? Yeah, he did. Did any part of this house ever burn down? Hi, Ashley Klein. Welcome. If you have any questions for ghosts, you can uh, help us ghost hunt from home today. Glad to have you. Thank you. Our, um... Did William or John ever get married? Yeah. 
Did the William or John ever have children? owners of this house here besides William and John Irving? Welcome. William or John Irving, what country are you from? Children die. Oh, that's all. That was me. Trouble. Trauma? Trouble? Trauma? That sounds like a, like a kid, too. Or a woman. Yeah, it's like a woman or a kid saying trouble or trauma. What trauma? If there are children here, Jacob can help send them to the light. If you like any help, send these children to the light and cross it over. Let us know. If there's anyone here that wants to leave this place, can you touch that green light or say something? Sorry. Would William or John like to let us know anything about the Hartwood House? Don't make it worse. Yeah. All right, guys, we're a uh, 20 minute warning for this stream. We're going to call it at uh, three hours and night. Um, just because we got. The rest of the investigation to do, you know. So if you have questions, now it's time to put them in the chat room. What does John many, like to let us know? What would William or, Law, would William or John like to let us know anything about this this home? Like really, what's what's up? Why why did you have tunnels? What? Uh, what do you think of that? What type of things did you hide in the tunnel? Did you hide people in the tunnel? How many soldiers died in the barn house? How, how many soldiers died on this property? Meaning in these structures, this house, the barn house, 
any of the buildings right around here? How many soldiers right here? Yeah, that thing was going off crazy and it's still the same. How many soldiers are still here? No way, it's at 100. Are they from the north or from the south? Soldier, I'm seeing. I heard, I heard 22, Rachel. Judy heard 20 as well, so we all heard 20. Who's the soldier I'm seeing with the long hair? here can you make some noise in this levels of house Michael Bloom or John with Sarah thanks mom Sure. No. <laughs> I think what you said, I think they said I'm, I'm gay, you know? I think one of them could have been. I think one of them could have been gay and hiding it. And I'm just so frustrated about that. But then someone came in and said, me too. Someone else, yeah. So maybe there's just a couple of gay people here. And maybe they're lovers. You know? Maybe that's why they're in their own separate little house over there. Who knows? It could have been the one that got the justice. You know what I mean? Like laying down the law to this place. Could have been like all, you know? Yeah. That's that's interesting theory. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the Sarah. All right, guys. Well, Wait, hold on. Huh? Let's ask you about this. Is Beverly Irving here? Did William go by Bill? If that's Beverly, make it go off again, please. If that's Bill, that was your name, you make it. That thing's never gone off any other investigation. It's going crazy here. Table, it's not going to go off, you know what I mean? Oh, now like, it's... Is that me hitting the table now? Maybe, yeah, but you, you didn't hit the table earlier, it's going off. No, dude. No, dude. That wasn't, that was, that was something else. 1841, the house burned. All right, so that's why they had said something about burn, burn, burning something. 
Interesting. Say howdy. How, why? How did the house catch on fire? No, the barn. Huh? The barn. I think the barn burned down. Eighteen forty-one. It says. Who's over there to our right? Yeah. Adjacent to the barn located down Route 17 is Irving Apartment House, and also restored in the a current house of the Federal Architect style built by William Irving. In 1841, the original log and frame home of Arthur Murchison. Oh, burned down. Yeah, it is. Fact check, accurate. The, the house burned down, so I'm saying that on there. That's interesting. Oh, look at uh, is that you, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. How'd the house burn? How'd the house burn down? Did anyone die in the fire? What's your favorite food? Cobbler? Peach cobbler? Is that what you said? Is that peach cobbler? Who's in the basement? I just left the basement. Huh? Why did they fill the basement? Why did they fill the tunnel in the basement? Is there anybody here that wants to say anything to Jacob? Anyone here that wants to say anything to me? Spirit or ghost of Hartwood, we're about to turn this off. If there's anything you'd like to say, let us know. Final question. No. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell me right. Yeah. Would you like Jacob's help to help you cross over? Would you like my help to go with the angels?
Yeah. That was several words. Yeah. That was several words. I don't know if that said. All right, for the last seven and a half minutes, I'm just going to open up the floor, or the next, like, uh, two, it took us, for like two minutes, I'm going to just open the floor, let them talk, and if you hear any words, type them in there, but is there anything that the spirits of Heartwood House want to say to us? You have two full minutes to use, starting now. Time to go home. I was just thinking in my head, because all the help, um, just thinking in my head that if you need help, you know, you really have to just let us know that you need some help, and then I said, help me. I said that in my head, internal dialogue, they can still hear me, though. happy to help anyone here who wants help by showing you love and compassion. How to help? I'm going to show you love and compassion. And I just, there's some, what is that? I saw, I saw someone off to our right. Yeah, we've been, uh, yeah, right, here, here, yeah. low. Even the response is seems to be getting quieter. I think the energy is getting lower. I agree. We're it's hard, it's hard for a spirit to keep consecutively talking, to keep consecutively interacting. It takes up so much energy. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate everything you've done to communicate with us. You want to wrap it up? Yes. Well, final word. Anything, last thing you want to say? just want to say thank you to all the spirits of Heartwood House that have come to interact with us at, up to this point and all the spirits around that have interacted with us on this live stream, our first live stream ghost hunt. And potentially the first time people from home have been able to ask questions to ghosts yeah. uh, live. So that's pretty exciting stuff. But uh, we definitely just want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in. I mean, 
Uh, so you all are who we do it for. Thank you, Betsy, uh, Judy, and and um, Andy, and, and I mean everybody. I mean you guys are just fantastic. The questions and the and the response has been tremendous, and we really appreciate that. Uh, this is a passion. Like I am very passionate about coming out here and helping these people. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad that was fun, and I'm glad you loved it. I mean, I appreciate, I really appreciate you all being here for this. I mean, this is, this might be like groundbreaking, like historical stuff happening. Yeah, you know? I just want to talk about what happened earlier, though. All right. Um, yeah, so thanks, everyone, for joining the stream. Um, you know, it's, this is why, uh, just also know that this stream will get more interactive, and we'll probably have a little more widgets and whatnot to make it a little bit more fun, but... Also, you know, there, we might actually even at some point make it fully automated where um, we'll, we'll, we'll try that. You know, we, we had this program where we, we could potentially do text-to-speech to where it, it could be running while we're investigating. You guys at home could be potentially um, asking spirit box questions and whatnot. But in, in the long run, we will get it more dialed in and whatnot. But earlier, you know, there was probably about 30 minutes I was off the stream where I had to recollect myself. And... Um, there's certain, you know, I've been uh, doing ghost hunting, paranormal investigation since 2011, 2009. Um, one second. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, it works. One second. Sorry about that. Yeah, plenty of kinks to iron out. Yeah. So we're going to get these kinks ironed out, but I've been doing uh, ghost hunting for about 12 years now, and, um, I started when I went to Trans Allegheny, which ultimately led to Jacob and I talking about that and doing it again and kind of making a, a journey out of this, maybe, you know, making a brand, whatever, out of it. Um, really just, you know, trying to help as many spirits as possible. But about, for about 30 minutes, I was off the stream. And what happened was um, there's very, in, in, in the ghost hunting I've done, there's been certain things that, when certain evidence, we'll call it, happens, when certain things happen, and it's a combination of things. It's just puts me in a bad spot. And what happened was, you know, we have a member on our team, Mark Anthony, a lovely person. You know, he's he's a person of light and love. Um, he um, you know, he has a certain tone to his voice. You know, I mean, you, when you, if you talk to him on the phone, you know it's Mark Anthony. And we're doing a spirit box, and like what happens when we run these spirit boxes for so long? It opens a portal. It opens an access. It pretty much just like. It's like the DMV gets rid of their queue and says, bring all the customers in because you know it's a long <laughs> line out front, you know? Um, and yeah, so I heard my friend, Jacob and I, and I's friend, Mark, say, I am Mark through the spirit box. And it's almost like a doppelganger because it sounded exactly like him. And when that happened, I felt like something. Like it was, it was like in my chest immediately just punched me with energy. But not like love energy, something like that, but just like, like we're very, did you just get a flash right here? I was looking at you. That was weird. Um, anyway, it, it's like punching my chest with an with uncomfortable energy. And um, yeah, I had to uh, go outside and get some air. And then when I went outside, um, you know, freaking, I felt like nauseous. I felt like I wanted to throw up. And it made, it made me irritated. And then I came back in and you're saying, they're saying those stuff. I'm just like, oh man. Yeah, thank you for Jacob and Betsy for helping out for that. And, um, you know, something else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and field a couple questions. If anyone else has questions uh, for us, uh, we're done with the spirit box portion of this where we're talking to the spirits. Um, we will continue to do our investigation and, and documenting um, offline. Um, and that's when we're going to um, cross them over and send them home, Judy. Um, right now, it's more the exploration. It's, it's, you know, we're figuring out who's here, you know, what their life was like, what their afterlife has been like. And we're trying to paint this picture of what their scenario has been before, you know, just give them an opportunity to, to speak to us and, and to, to let us know. And then we'll cross them over. Um, so, uh, long story short, just want to, you know, um, you know, really figure out who's here and get it all on, on our cameras as well. 
Uh, but we will be crossing them over, of course, and that episode will come out eventually. I have like four episodes in the pipes that I'm still working on. Um, so, so more coming for sure. We have several things I want to show you, uh, including uh, a, a proposal on the ghost hunt. I mean, like, spoiler alert, right? What'd she say? I, I don't uh, know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have to tune in to find out from one of these, you know, who it was, what, what happened. So, um, but yeah, long story short, we just want you to know we love you and we're, we're glad that you came. We're glad you had fun. I mean, we had fun doing this. We're about to go investigate. And, and this is by far the least threatening portion of the house. So, uh, or, you know, the least, I don't know. It was more active because they came here oh thanks sandy yeah it was great uh they came to us but we're going to be going down to the basement and we're going to be going outside there's a, a several spirits outside that that do not feel comfortable coming into the house so we have to go out there to help uh, probably a lot of slave energy uh to be honest we'll be out there uh civil war out there as well so so we have some work we have quite a bit of work uh to do um perhaps we should have done the uh the plantation house on stream Oh, well, maybe maybe something for next time. If if we have enough comments saying they'd like to see us cross people over live, um, maybe maybe that'd be something for the future. But yeah, long story short, thanks so much for tuning in. Do you have any questions for us before we go? Um, um, I'll give, give it a couple minutes. But um, yeah, it's been it's been great. It's been really interesting. Uh, we see this stuff like all the time. Um, so it's been it's been really something else. To bring it to you and for for you all to be able to it's so dark in here <laughs> i don't know how you can see dude <laughs> um it's uh it's been really wonderful interacting with them uh with you and giving you an opportunity to ask questions to ghosts from home and that's amazing you all have just become bonafide ghost hunters <laughs> so that's pretty cool but we're gonna get off here thanks Thanks, Mom. Um, and thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, everybody. Everyone who tuned in from the beginning throughout to the end. I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad this was enjoyable. It's only going to get better because we're going to get more and more functionality and maybe get this little eye off the middle of the screen. <laughs> you know, figure this stuff out. But, uh, yeah, long story short, um, we, we love you all. I mean, I, I say that. I don't say that lightly. Like, we love you all, and we have a lot of love for these people here, and we have to help them. So, we're going to sign off for now and go get this taken care of and make sure these people are resting in peace and that, you know, Tim and his wife can uh, can turn off the lights in here and not feel completely, uh, like, freaked out, you know. We've got to, you know, make this place feel like a cuddly little kitten, hopefully. So we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. You'll see it in the episode. But, you know, warm blessings. Thank you so much. Got anything else? No, I'm good. I'm ready. All right, let's go. we got to go take care of these people. They need help. Take care. Bye. How's that? <laughs> it's the only, it's only the uh, most attractive one of us on there. <laughs>